welcome to Control Booster for Tangent Panels presentation. In this video, I'll show you what it is and how Control Booster can change your life when using any tangent panels with DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. So, what it is Control Booster for Tangent Panels? Tangent Panels has a very limited support for DaVinci Resolve natively, and there's a lot of tools on Resolve that not work with their panels. Control Booster is a software that will allow you control almost every tool in the edit page and color page inside DaVinci Resolve when using a Tangent Panel. It is important to say that you can use Ripple, Wave 1, Wave 2, Elements and even the Arc Panel. You also can use an Android tablet or iPad with the app Tangent Elements VS to control the Vintage Resolve with Control Booster. Of course, with Ripple you can only set up just a few functions, but you can use it together with a tablet or iPad to have more functions. And yes, you can mix more than one panel and or any panel with the Elements VS on tablet or iPad. Now, let's see what Control Booster for Tangent Panels can do on the Vint Resolve. In Edit Page, Control Booster will work similar to the Blackmagic Speed Editor, but with way more functions. Here, you can zoom in and out or move your timeline you can also navigate on your timeline with step frames forward and backward and move frame by frame your clips and edit points just using the jog wheels. You can select, navigate, copy, paste, paste attributes, cut or delete clips and even use functions like delete, start or end to playhead. knobs you can swap clips and add markers to your timeline or even mark an in and out points that you can easily remove just pressing the knobs. With Control Booster, you will have control over all the basic functions of the Inspector panel for video and audio. Of course, you can open and close all the panels on your edit page interface. On color page, you also have control of your interface, but this is just the begin. Here is where Control Booster will shine. You can control all your color wheels, primaries, bars, logs, and of course, HDR wheels and zones. jog wheels on your panel, you can control the jog of each color wheel or the exposure on HDR wheels. And of course, using the trackballs, you will control the corresponding color wheel.
using the knobs, you will change the values for temperature, tinge, contrast, and etc. You can change values of each color or luma channel on your color wheels, and guess what? You can individually reset every value just pressing the knobs. There's also modes to control the RGB mixer, motion effects, color warper, qualifiers, power windows, tracking, blur, sharpen and mist, key and sizing panels. mode you can navigate through your nodes and your clips using your jog wheels. On nodes and scopes mode it's possible add each type of nodes to your node tree and here you can also change your scopes using the buttons of your control panel. Notice that I didn't talk about the Q-Stone and Hill Curves? Yeah, I let the best to the end. Control Booster has a Q-Stone Curves and a Hill Curves mode where you can add, remove or control points on your curve just using the panel. You don't need to use your mouse or keyboard for nothing. Navigation through the modes are simple and fast 
to create a great user experience. You don't need to click on thousand buttons to achieve the tool that you want to use and every click will automatically update the DaVinci Resolve interface. And when possible, I do updates with new features, functions and increasing the user experience. Control Booster has almost 800 functions for DaVinci Resolve that will make you control almost every tool on it. There's a lot of other things that I didn't show on this video to not make it too long. I invite you to read on our website the complete list of Color Booster functions. That's it. If you like it, what you saw here, just go to our website and buy Control Booster for Tangent Panels today. See ya!